You could hear a pin drop at the U.N. on Saturday as the Security Council went through with its long-awaited vote on an anti-Assad Syria draft resolution. The draft's fate was quickly doomed, however, when two permanent five hands shot up in a double veto from Russia and China. The two nay votes proved Western predictions of a more positive outcome to be wrong, and their diplomats were livid. This council today again had a sad moment which will be recorded in its history. Uh, we deeply regret the fact today that the Security Council was unable to reach agreement on the draft resolution on Syria. And this despite eight days of intensive negotiations between members of the Security Council. Now, Russian Ambassador Vitaly Cherkin expressed some confusion at the outrage. After all, he said the Russian Foreign Ministry had never been on board with the draft resolution in the first place. He said that Russia remained a willing participant in the negotiations, and that is when he added the vote was called. You know, you know, I don't know why they are surprised. In fact, I'm wondering myself, because as I say, we were very clear with them uh, as to where we are coming from, about our intentions, our proposals. So uh, surprise, uh, I, 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 w I, I cannot answer that for them. Thank you very much. The main points of disagreement centered around two amendments Russia tried to introduce Saturday morning before the vote. According to Cherkin, other diplomats knew to expect the change requests. Russian calls for Syrian opposition groups to distance themselves from other armed groups were called equalizing and reprehensible by diplomats supporting the measure. Cherkin says adopting the Arab League's draft word for word was always out of the question. Uh, there is no uh, rule that the Security Council should repeat uh, uh, all resolutions adopted by regional organizations verbatim. Uh, they are not uh, Quran or, or Bible. I mean, uh, we, can, uh, we can express our views on uh, the, the texts which were uh, adopted months ago, uh, even if we are trying to uh, facilitate, promote and help uh, the work uh, of uh, uh, those regional organizations. In his statement, French Ambassador Gerard Arrode said that France would continue to pursue the Arab League's recommendations in all bodies, and the U.S. Ambassador Susan Rice said that she was disgusted with the outcome. Bashar Jafari, Syria's ambassador to the U.N., said the very basis of the Security Council's foundation is under attack when countries throw aside the fundamentals of international diplomacy to call for regime change in a sovereign nation. Hank Flynn, Press TV, New York. Thank you.